Hi guys, it is Carrie from Secondhand Salvage. This week we've talked about staging and backdrops and accessories. Some of you have asked me about how I make my beaded garland, as you see here, that I use as an accessory in most of my staging photos. Well, I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way that you can make this at home for a fraction of the cost. So guys, I got an accessory packet of several sizes of beads and I got these on Amazon. It's inexpensive, much cheaper than what you're gonna pay at a retail store. I'll get the small ones out. And I just have a little picture frame here that I use to hold all my beads in place. We're gonna use some twine from the dollar store. And I'm gonna show you a neat little trick that I like to use on mine. So here is my wired burlap. And I'm gonna use this to make tassels. So I'm gonna cut two six to eight inch pieces, depending on how long you want your tassel to be. Now, I'm actually going to take the wire and fray it off, guys. It's that easy. It gives us that beautiful frayed edge, plus it gives us wire to use later in our project. Simple. I'm gonna set that aside, put our wire aside, because we're gonna use that shortly. Sorry if you hear my puppy crying in the background. She's a one-year-old German Shepherd and thinks that she needs to be a part of everything. All right, guys, so let's get started. So I don't like to make my garland too long. Um, a lot of my staging pictures, oh, a lot of my staging pictures have um, several things in it. So if I make it too long, there's too much going on. So I'm just gonna cut out my string. Now guys, I love buffalo plaid. I just do. So I'm gonna use buffalo plaid in my tassel, but you know what? I'm gonna actually use the narrow buffalo plaid instead of the thicker, okay? So again, I'm just gonna cut like six to eight inch pieces. Guys, this is scrap uh, ribbon I have around. I always have it on hand. So we're looking at a couple dollars to make this super easy. Now I'm going to take my burlap and I'm gonna cut it down the center, guys, because I want it to be closer to the width of the tassel. So easy, right guys? Okay, so now let's get started. So you'll have two burlap and one buffalo plaid for each side. And of course, we're gonna make our first tassel. So guys, this is a quick and easy hack that I absolutely love. So we're gonna take um, a small bead on the end and loop it like that, guys, right? Okay, now we're gonna literally flip over our tassel and we're gonna put that bead in the center, guys. Now just fold that tassel around that bead and we're gonna tie it. Simple little bow, easy, just somewhere for our bead to stop, all right? Now you're going, why did we put that bead in there? Ready? Now all we have to do is take some of that wire that we ripped off and we're gonna wrap it around the bottom of the bead, kind of like if we're making like a little Halloween ghost. Wrap it a couple times super easy and super cute we're gonna knot it off and we can trim this up and, and make it foofy when we're done but this is just to get us started all right so there's the bottom of your bead line all right so i like to do a two small one big pattern that's just for me i mean you can do anything random i've seen people use specialty beads that are different sizes uh, just make it fun something that you like aesthetically. Um, I've seen people stain the beads. You can whitewash the beads. Pretty much anything that you wanna do. Um, I know that this fall, um, pale pinks are gonna be a big color in the retail world. So um, you wanna think about maybe whitewashing some pink beads. I don't know. I'm so addicted to Buffalo Plot. It goes with everything in my decor. I'm mainly a farmhouse chic kind of person, as you can see with my decor in the background. All right, so we're just gonna repeat this process. Now I've done one, two, three. So now maybe I'll put three big beads in the center just to give a focal point. Really guys, it is super random. And if you get to the part where your bottom piece is threading or splitting, you can always trim it off. If you're making it for yourself, you could lick the bottom of the thread. 
Uh-oh, I think my dog broke through the baby gate, so we may have a guest appearance. Things may get crazy up in here. All right, guys, we're just going to keep on threading that. I love using this to accessorize my staging photos for Chalk Couture. Um, I will put it on my table as just a tablescape when I'm having um, family dinners or people over. It's just a pretty way to kind of accessorize your house. And you can see these online for a variety of prices, guys, but we're, we're able to make it here inexpensively. And the nice thing is with this bag, this is my second strand that I've made with this bag and I still have plenty left. So if I would want to make different seasonal ones, I thought how cute would it be to do one with some twigs on the end for maybe Christmas. Okay, now that it's getting to the end and it's getting poofy, I'm just gonna snap that off on an angle, make it easy for going back through. All right, guys, let's see what we have so far. One, two, three on this side. One, two, here's our third one, two more small ones, and we are done with this cute little one. All right, two more small ones, and we'll finish up with our other tassel, guys. In less than 10 minutes, we're gonna have a beautiful garland. Now, I've also used Chalk Couture chalk chips, and I've chalked my logo, or the Chalk Couture logo, um, on the medallion, you can do this. Some people put seasonal things on theirs. It's up to you. Okay, guys, so I'm just holding it up to make sure it mirrors. How cute is that, right? So now we're just gonna repeat the process. So now we're gonna grab our burlap and our um, buffalo plaid. We're gonna take our small bead. All right, bring it down to the end but we're going to take our ribbon and wrap around it, guys, right? So remember, then we've got to wrap it up here and we're gonna tie it around the end, guys. This is so easy. Guys, we're seven minutes in and we're almost completely done with making your own garland. All right, once we have that knotted off, we'll come back and knot it again, but we're just gonna take some of that wire that we stripped off earlier again. And like I said, we'll make a little Halloween ghost wrap that around a couple times to give it a little look and we'll tie this on so cute um, you can leave the strands hanging if you want um, or you can decorate them I'm gonna do another knot on my bead line just because I want to make sure it's nice and secure don't want to have it unfraying on me all right guys and then I can trim off my extra Again, that's not to hold the, the bead on there, it's to make the end of my garland. Okay, now guys, here's a cute little tip too. I like to fold my ribbon at an angle and cut it. Because guys, look, it gives you cute little points on the bottom of your ribbon. So I'm gonna do that all the way through. If you have wire in it, you hold the wire to the side and cut towards the wire. That'll give you cute little points all the way through your design. Gives it a nice finished look. And I do them different sizes because I want this to be a kind of poofy, like a tassel. So I'm just going through, doing that all the way through my ribbon. That way when I go to stage it, look at that. How cute is that, guys, right? All right, let's do the other side quick and then we're done. You can add um, a medallion if you like. Think about it, you could do one for each season, like do a Christmas one that has maybe a snowflake medallion on it and you whitewash it with maybe a little silver in there. I'm so excited. All right guys, so look how cute this is. So now let me put my beads away here so I can show you what we've created. So now you have your beautiful tassel to accessorize any of your artwork how cute is that and guys like i said you can always add a medallion to yours i like to do that let me angle it so you can see it how cute to add a little something extra to every one of your projects 
All right, guys, I really hope this video helped you. Less than 10 minutes, we did it. Um, as always, in a world where you can be anything, be kind and leave the world a better place than you found it. Thanks, guys.